So, y'all know me. A uh, provider of ex ex exquisite content on this channel. And one of my favorite things in the world is disgusting gas station food. For example, this is the Deli Express Half Pound Cattleman. Could you focus the damn camera? Net weight of 8 ounces, alright? All 8 ounces are just pure, unadulterated fat. Take a look at this. If it would fucking focus the camera, dude. Alright, so. Well, so much for that. There we go. Only 640 calories, which seems like a lowball estimate, to be honest. We got... 42 grams of fat, 20 grams of saturated fat, that is your 100% daily value. You can eat this and be 100% satiated for the entire day, I'd be impressed. We've got 67% of your daily value of sodium, which is about the same as, um, as my sunflower seeds, so good. good news there. There's apparently 7 grams in added sugars. Don't know why you'd add sugar to a cheeseburger, but, you, you know, you do you. 36 grams of protein, though, so, hey. I'm do I've been doing some heavy lifting lately, not by, you know, choice or anything. Not for, like, the sake of working out, but um, I'm going to have to put this down to open this. It's coming. Hang on. Hang on, we got... No, we do not have a hole. I thought we had a hole, but we don't have a hole. Okay, let's try it like this. There we go. That was the way to do it. You got a pinch and pull. That's what you have to do, see? It smells like preservatives. Believe it or not. Um, this was apparently 420... Four, four fucking dollars for this shit. Um, apparently it's good for another three weeks. And this was sitting in the, uh, the, uh, refrigerator, not even the freezer. So we're supposed to microwave for a minute 15. Probably more like a minute 30. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The pinnacle of Western society. Seven billion years of evolution. Sixty million years from going to chimp to man. And here we are. A double cheeseburger from hell. Honestly, I, I wouldn't even be surprised if these were any less healthy than, um, than any other, you know, fast food cheeseburger out there. Or even like a sit-down restaurant-y type place. Because I guarantee you, like, that... That's definitely not natural beef. I'm talking genetically modified. I'm not even talking genetically modified. I'm talking more so like, uh... Just lab-created, lab-grown. Um... I mean, if it was tofu, it would probably actually, you know, be kind of slightly, you know, not disgustingly unhealthy for you. That's just an assumption on my end, though. You know, I don't really know much about tofu. I mean, if I did, there'd probably be more episodes of Cooking with Kamikaze than just fucking two, wouldn't there be? In any case, uh, we're just about done here. And it's definitely warm. The bun's definitely warm. I'm sure the bun is, like, hard as a rock now and on fire while the center of the burger itself is just non-existent. I also, uh, you know, also got a uh, cookie out of the deal. Got a cookie out of the deal. Ain't that some good shit? How much fucking fat's in th This is 380 calories. Apparently, this cookie is half the calories of this. Not even. It's over half the calories. Are you fucking kidding me? $1.89 for this shit. Fuck off. Get this shit out of my face. All right, well, it's still on fire, so I'm just going to carry it gently. I don't really want to edit this. I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> Was not planning on editing this. Oh, yeah, and I turned off my computer. 
because I was going to leave. But then I came back because I got this. All right, well. How did I do this with the chicken sandwich? Like, how did I, did I, did I seriously, like, eat the entire thing one-handed with the camera in one hand? Because that was after I got rid of my whatchamacallit thing. So let's, yeah, the whatchamacallit thing. Fucking stupid ass. The center is actually pretty warm. I'm surprised that it's not frozen ass cold, but the bun, still just a mini cataclysmic event. Still just on fire. Yep. That's about right. Yep, it's too hot to lift up and flip over so that it can cool faster. Phone's on the floor again. Oh, it hurts. Oh my god, it actually hurts. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. That fucking hurts. So yeah, there it is. It's still hot as fuck. The cheese, I'm sure, guarantee you it. Like, what even is this? What is this fucking pastel looking shit? This like fucking wall looking ass. Like brick wall looking shit, except not bricks. Like what like how do you make this? How do you even create this? How does one even go about formulating this as an idea? Let alone creating it into an actual thing. So like I said, I guarantee the cheese. Also isn't pasteurized. I'm sure it's just a, you know, a paste. A paste that you just pour in. It's not even a solid state. Alright, well, I got it in my hands and I'm not begging for the sweet embrace of death. So, that must mean that it's time to take a bite out of this fucking beast. There it is. I'm holding it upside down because it's less hot on the top. So I can actually hold it. Alright. Here we go. Here goes nothing. As expected, burgers rubbery as all hell. Let me see if I can just get bite on the burger itself here. There is no way that's real meat. There is absolutely no way that's real meat. Strangely enough, the cheese is actually the best part. It may be pure liquid, but the cheese is definitely the best part. Very unremarkable bun, which in this case is probably better than if I actually had something to say about the bun. Actually, the bun's got a little, little bit of a nice tang to it. Oh. The center is a bit cool, won't lie. Center definitely could have done for some more heat. But beyond that, the patty's square like a Wendy's burger. But it's actually disgusting compared to a Wendy's burger. Wendy's is good as all hell. Fresh, never frozen. I guarantee you that this probably would not have tasted any different if they froze it. I don't even know if you could freeze this. Is this even freezable? Is there any actual quality to this that would change its taste if it was frozen? You see a little burn marks there. I don't believe that's seasoning. Maybe it's seasoning. It'd be a strange place for the seasoning to be just all along the edges here and back there as well. Especially considering that there's, you know, bits and pieces in here. But it does kind of look like a charboil, you know. Except there's no way it could possibly be a charboil. 
because there is absolutely nothing about this that suggests it's real in any capacity. Oh, fuck me. The American dream, ladies and gentlemen. Ingredients. Beef patty. My fucking ass. My fucking ass, that's beef. It says beef water. It's made of water, guys. Soy protein concentrate. I don't even want to know what that is. Dextrose. Mmm, yum. Salt, no kidding. Sodium phosphate. You literally just said salt. Flavor from vegetable oil. I guarantee goddamn to you that nothing having to do with organic fruits or vegetables was was had anything to do with the making of this burger. Uh, pepper, so I guess that's the texture there. Wheat flour. I doubt it. Non-fat dry milk. Non-fat, yeah, sure. Bun. The bun is made of enriched, unbleached flour mononitrate. Oh, riboflavin. I love riboflavin. Riboflavin is my favorite ingredient in random shit like this. Riboflavin is fantastic. Floic acid, or folic acid. Floic acid. <laughs> More water. High fructose corn syrup. Oh man, getting into those diabetes commercials there. Yeast. Yeast contains less than 2% of the following. Soybean oil. Salt. 2% of salt, guys. 2% of salt. Less than 2% of salt. Uh, wheat gluten. Uh-oh, gluten. I'm about to explode. Um, yellow corn flour, sure. Spice oils. Turmeric and annatto imparts color. Implying that the uh, dough would still be not this color. It would be green. It would be a green sandwich is what it would be. Dough conditioners. Okay, now let's, let's, let's not investigate that language now. Dough conditioners. Such as monoglycerides. Sodium steroylactolate. Ascorbic acid. <laughs> Calcium sulfate. Sulfate? Why are you putting fucking sulfates in this shit? And enzymes. Just no, no more details beyond that. Just enzymes. Monocalcium phosphate. I should have really paid attention to chemistry class. Calcium proponate. Which is a preservative, just in case, you know, we needed that extra detail. That's the cons that's the preservative. None of these other fucking random ass ribahami shibby dabby fossafilly dooby dabby dates. All the eights and the fates and the dates, you know. Nope, not not none of them were preservatives, but this, this calcium proipinate. Pasteurized process American cheese. My fucking ass that's pasteurized. Pasteurized milk. Cheese cultures. So we're getting some cultural enrichment in this shit. Salt, because it wouldn't be complete without more fucking salt yet. Enzymes. More water. Cream. Just cream. Sodium phosphate. Emulsifier. More corbic acid. Which is a preservative, so they didn't mention that the earlier... They didn't mention the earlier fucking corbic acid, you know? I didn't mention that was a preservative, but this time it's a preservative. Artificial color contains milk, soy, and wheat. Did it even say fucking milk? Okay, non-fat dry milk in the fucking beef patty. Yeah, sure, whatever. Is this shit cold already? Probably. Fucking hell, dude. Look at this. Two premium, premium, premium beef patties. Yeah, just like premium motorsports. That's the fucking level of premium we're getting this shit. Yeah, get fucked. Taste the quality. 
taste the fucking quality. You can't read it because the shit won't fucking focus. Taste the quality. Taste it, bitch. <laughs>